So everybody is always asking me, what is the best substrate? Well, today that's what we're talking about, so let's get into it. So as you guys know, I like to use aqua soil, okay? Aqua soil is, to me, by far, like by far the best substrate to use. It does lower your pH a little bit, uh, not too much, but that only lasts for so long. The buffering capabilities of it, they, they only last for, you know, maybe two years, if that. There are some substrates out there that are better for long-term planted aquariums. Number one, EcoComplete. Now, I've made videos about EcoComplete before. To be honest, EcoComplete actually is a really good substrate to use. It's not on the same level as aqua soil, but to be honest, for long-term planted aquariums, it does the job. It really just takes it a long time for it to build up its nutrients. With EcoComplete, you really don't want to be, you know, gravel vacuuming or anything like that. In my opinion, to get the best results out of EcoComplete, you really want to start off with some good quality root tabs, maybe ADA or Seachem is what I use. Uh, I know API has some good ones too, but you can also mix those up in there. You can use Osmocote Plus pellets. The real benefits that you're gonna get from using EcoComplete is letting all of that fish waste and all of that decomposing stuff, just let it sit down there and the bacteria that is in your substrate will break that down and turn it into plant food. EcoComplete can, can literally last you a lifetime. I mean, if you're using it for like 20 years, obviously, eventually you're gonna have to get in there and siphon some of that stuff out because it's just gonna turn into mud eventually. But that's the whole goal with EcoComplete is literally to just let everything fall to the bottom, let the plants, you know, eat all that stuff up, and eventually you're not gonna have to fertilize anymore. It's always good to have some liquid fertilizer though. In my opinion, liquid fertilizer is always uh, something that you guys should be doing in order to get really good plant growth. Number two on the list that I wanna talk about is aqua soil. Obviously aqu aqua soil is my number one. It can last for up to six years if you keep it fresh. Now, what I do to keep it fresh is to wave my hand down here at the bottom and lift up some of that organic material before you know it starts causing your nitrates to go through the roof. You really wanna keep your nitrates in between say 30 and 40 parts per million and that's where you're really gonna see your plants thrive the most. And then obviously sometimes you're just not gonna have certain things in your water that your plants need, which is what the liquid fertilizer is for. Now, I get this question all the time too. What liquid fertilizer do I use? I use Neeloc G Thrive. I've been using this stuff for probably a solid five years now, and it's always done the job for me. There are so many nutrients in here that you're just simply not gonna get from substrates. Even if you have a, a dirted tank, which is number three. Now, dirted tanks are absolutely incredible. They grow plants like crazy, especially if you're pumping in CO2 and you could add all kinds of stuff to dirt. There's so many videos out there about all the stuff that you can add to dirt. But my main problem with dirt is that once you pull a plant, once it's fully rooted in there and then you go to pull that plant out, it just causes an absolute mess. And for aquascaping and for people like me, that's just not a good thing because I'm in there pulling plants and trimming and doing all kinds of stuff, moving things around all the time. So dirted tanks just simply aren't the greatest option for me, but obviously you guys know that I've you know made dirted tank videos in the past and it does work really, really well. So to me, those are the main three substrates that you guys should be looking at. If you want something that's like super duper long-term and low tech, I mean, you can even use CO2 with it, but eventually your plants are just gonna suck up all the nutrients in the tank and be left with nothing, especially if you're not dosing liquid fertilizer. So in my opinion, you guys should really be sticking with aqua soil or dirt. So it's just the way it is. Those two have the most amount of nutrients in it, and that's what your plants are gonna like. You gotta feed them where they eat, which is the substrate for the most part. Obviously, plants use you know the water column as well, which is what the liquid fertilizer is for. And then that's not even included talking about the CEC value. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. 
Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here. And I'll see you on the next one. And don't forget, keep it planted.